Hello, my name is Madeline and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Knitting House Square and on Ravelry as Knitting House SQ. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe down below. I haven't filmed a video in a little while, but I found another knitting kit that I thought was really interesting and that I wanted to give a try. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the We Are Knitters by Anthropology knitting kit. And what this is, is it's a collaboration obviously between We Are Knitters and Anthropology, and they're only available in Anthropology stores. Um, there's four total available. There is, I made a list, there is a black hat, there's a turquoise color slouchy beanie, there's a white scarf, and then there's a pink cowl. Um, so I chose the pink cowl, or they call it a snood. Um, yeah, so that is what I'll be reviewing today. A couple things to note about these kits is that the black hat and the slouchy beanie, those are the first two kits that I mentioned, those each retail for $78. The white scarf and then this pink cowl, they each retail for $88. And I'll get a little bit more into the price of this one in a second. But I did purchase this myself from Anthropology, so just to give you an unbiased review of this kit. Also, if you're thinking of giving this gift to someone as a gift and you're just watching this video to kind of review of what I thought of it, um, and you are a knitter yourself, it's important to know that I'm not a beginner knitter, but I'll give you my perspective kind of of what I would have thought of this as a beginner knitter, because um, all these kits do fall into the beginner category. This is how my kit arrived. It just came in plastic like this. Um, and the way I actually ordered mine was the, the, this one is an online exclusive, so you can only get it on Anthropology's website. I'll link to them down below. But I did the ship to store option, so that way I didn't have to pay for shipping. And I also purchased mine on like the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend, so I got 30% off of it. So yes, it does look, just from first kind of inspection of it, it looks just like previous We Are Knitters kits I've done. Um, so I've reviewed the We Are Knitters by Kristen Ritter sweater. Um, I really, really like that sweater. Uh, I did bring the patterns over just so I could reference these patterns relative to this pattern. And then also the Abruzzo sweater I've done. Um, and I have videos on both of those, which I'll link down below. So, yes, this is what it looks like. It does look just like the regular We Are Knitters packaging. Another thing that I noticed too was that the pricing, just right off the bat, the pricing of these is significantly higher than the We Are Knitters website and how much their kits typically cost. So I just went onto their website and I found comparable kits. So I just looked for either hats or um, scarves, cowls that each just use one skein of yarn as well. And you could find really nice comparable kits on the We Are Knitters website for only $55. I know like Kristen Ritter has a cowl and also a hat and just make sure I say the right one. So the cowl Kristen Ritter has, it's a slightly different yarn, but you get two balls of it. That one's only $59. So quite a, quite a difference from the $88 that's being charged for this one. Um, so part of that is probably just you're paying for the anthropology name because that's quite an expensive store. So yes, let us open this up and see what's inside. So here is the box once again. I just took it out of the plastic so it wouldn't make quite as much noise. And the first thing I noticed when I picked it up was that it was actually marked, let's see if I can get that to focus, $78, not $88. Um, so on the website, I'll insert a picture here It says this one retails for $88, um, but when I showed them this in the store, they actually just price matched it to this price. So I thought that was very nice of them. And it says that inside should include, well, this is just the outside. It includes the cardboard bag, the We Are Knitters tag, a tapestry needle, the pattern, a set of knitting needles. It looks like this one's a US size 19, and then one ball of yarn. are my knitting needles. 
Say we are knitters down the side. Next is my yarn. So this is the wool, 100% Peruvian Highland wool. You get 87 yards. And this is the color white pearl. And this one recommends using a size US 15. So I guess for this pattern, they want us to use a slightly larger needle size. You can kind of see how much of it just stuck to the label. <laughs> Next up we have the envelope and this is typically where the pattern and all that is. So I have another thing of the We Are Knitters stickers. So I got uh, this, actually I think this same set last time, my last kit. Here is my pattern. Tag. And my tapestry needles. So just right off the back, right off the bat, um, the pattern, there's nothing really different about this one because it's anthropology. It looks just like all my other We Are Knitters patterns. Um, so I'm not quite sure what makes this one anthropology specific. It doesn't ever say, I would guess it would be something in the design was done by anthropology. Um, anthropology also has a lot of sub brands too, so I'm not sure if they were involved. But yes, all of the materials inside are exactly the same as what you would get in a regular We Are Knitters kit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast on the pattern. I'm gonna knit uh, maybe about halfway and then I'll give you an update of how it's going. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm now back with my update for how it's going. I'm a little more than halfway done now. So, yep, this is the front. This is what it looks like so far. You can see it kind of, it almost like stretches in a diagonal direction as you knit it. And then this is the back side. So there's a little bit of a difference in the texture. So basically what I thought so far is I didn't have any trouble with the pattern at all. Um, for my cast on, I used a long tail cast on. And yeah, it's, I would say it's adequate for a beginner knitter. I would say um, it'd be good for someone who already knows the knitting and purling stitches though. So if they've just knit like a dishcloth or something like that before, um, that would be helpful. It would also, it's, I also think it's difficult to knit your first project on this large of needles, um, just in my personal opinion, just cause you can't hold this large of needles the same way that you would hold smaller size needles where you can like learn, a, kind of like get a rhythm down for how to throw the yarn and everything like that. With this, you essentially have to like drop and throw the yarn every single time. Um, so it's a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, maybe that's just the way I knit, but I found that larger needles are more uncomfortable to knit with. I do definitely have enough yarn left to finish this one off. I still have quite a bit. This is probably actually about half left. Um, so yeah, I did notice that the pattern says that I'm supposed to sew it together and then wash it. But what I think I'm actually gonna do is I think I'm gonna block it into a rectangle. So soak it in water with some wool wash. And then what you do is you just lay it flat. You can even use pins or sewing pins or blocking pins to get it to stretch a little bit to the dimensions you want. And then after it's dry, I'll sew the two ends together just so I can try and prevent a little bit of that, um, the like in and outs that are going along on along this edge. But yeah, I really like it so far. I think it's gonna be really cute, really warm. The yarn does shed, but that's just something that always happens with single ply yarn. So there's, there's not much you can do about that. Just make sure you're, you have a lint roller handy um, when you uh, either wear this and while you're knitting this. So I'll be back with the finished product. I am now back with the finished product and I am very happy with how it turned out. So I did end up finishing it just the way I said I was going to. I washed it first and then I laid it flat to dry. And then after, I didn't end up using any blocking pins or anything like that. You can still see there's a bit of a 
kind of like swoosh almost that goes on. Um, but it doesn't bother me too much. So I just laid it flat to dry, tried to turn into a rectangle as much as I could. I actually ended up try almost making it, um, can't remember the name of it right now, but like the diagonal rectangle almost where the two sides are tilted. I went for that shape because that seemed to be what it was naturally doing. And then also I figured that way I would get a more diagonal um, stripe going on there. So you can see even my seam over here is a little diagonal. This is my seam in here. So once it dried, I just took my ends and I seamed it together. So on the inside you can see my seam, but the outside it's pretty pretty not noticeable. And when you put it on, it does look pretty similar to the picture. So here's the picture. And then this is what it looks like on. So I do think it might just be the way she's holding it, but it does look a little more structured that way. Um, but if I were to hold it like her and like push it up a little higher, it does look pretty similar. Um, it's also very warm. So just kind of my final thoughts on this. I did think it was a great pattern. I didn't have any trouble with it. I think the finished product is really cute. Um, my, my gauge was probably a little looser than theirs, which is why it doesn't look as structured as the picture. Um, but that's just one thing that happens when there's only one needle size provided in a kit. Just if your gauge doesn't match theirs, it's, it's all right though, because it's just a cowl. Um, I do think it's a really cute design though. I enjoyed working with the yarn. It does shed, but that's all right. That's just what happens with single ply yarn. Uh, the only downside really to this was the price point of the anthropology kits. Um, they are quite expensive, but now I think like if I just wanted to give this to a bunch of people for Christmas, I could just go out and buy more skeins of this yarn and then just use the pattern and the needles that are already in there. Um, so maybe you could do something like that. Um, but yeah, I had a good time knitting it. Of course, I will link to this kit and just kind of the anthropology page down below. I'll also link to We Are Knitters if you're interested in any of their kits. So I'll be doing a holiday giveaway this year. Um, so it's 2018 when I'm filming this, the 2018 holiday season. Um, I'm just waiting for the giveaway prize to arrive. It should be here either today or tomorrow. But once I have that, I will film a video and then I'll probably be, um, the contest will probably be open until the following Monday and then I'll choose a winner. So subscribe to my channel. Keep an eye out for that video if you're interested in that giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.